Transferring files from CATIA to Unreal Engine. The case study will be with this elliptic trainer. So in order to do that, we're going to make use of Datasmith plugin. So to have that imported, I will go over here, import asset, and I will use the file import directly. If you don't have the Datasmith importer added, you can go up to edit plugins. If you're going to search over here Datasmith, you're going to see that there is the first entry Datasmith Cinema 4D importer. So this is for Cinema 4D. But there is also CAD importer. And this is really important. So it's quite misleading because Cinema 4D has this C4D. But we are going to work with CAD. So CAD, we're going to see that Unreal Engine can import directly from uh, CATIA. So to get started, I will go over here, Datasmith, File Import. And we see that the Elliptic Trainer, I will select the product. So in this case will be this product. We see a wide variety of CAD formats. So in our case, we're going to make use of CATIA files. But we see also from other software such as Creo, Inventor, Rhino or Solid Edge over here. So I'll just select the product. Afterwards, I will put it directly over here within the character. And we see that I'm going only want to check the geometry and the material texture for this. So the file should be <laughs> importing now we see the datasmith plugin working importing static mesh sportman one body okay and we have the model loaded we see that also the materials were exported so the model in katia look like this and we're gonna see that within unreal engine our model will look like this also, what is important is that the naming of the component remain the same. So we see this is the wheel cap. If I will fit to it, I will see that that will be the object. I will make this a little bit larger to better visualize it. Now, in order to move the elliptic trainer, I will go to the main product, so we see this will be the Sportman body, which will be the Katia mannequin that has been imported. So there are quite a lot of components. This will be the main component. I will just drag it within the scene. This is a third person template. One problem that I saw with this model is that um, if I'm just gonna set the model to go up to the ground, in this case by pressing the end key, the model will go with the pivot point over there. So I will just have to drag it like this in order to put it above. Now I will enable the bottom, the bottom section, the content drawer, and I will copy again another elliptic trainer and for this one I will delete the mannequin so if I'm just gonna hide this at play they will be resumed so I'll just select all the elements regarding the, the body and I will delete those apply to all now we have the elliptic trainer added within our scene. Also, the main advantage is that we're going to have all the interior components. So I'm just going to make the camera speed a lot smaller. And we see that we have the all the elements from Katia. So we see the bearing over here. We see the fitting within the components in detail. Everything that we had over here, we have a one-on-one -on -one transition 
Thor Arlene and Jenna. Okay, I will just play this using the standard 3D person and I will position this mannequin on the elliptic trainer. Let's just see if I will be able to position this properly. Okay, so the collisions with the elements work in some cases, so I can have it like this only with one leg positioned and one at the bottom. Okay, so I hope that you find this type of content useful. If you also want to import some complex assemblies from Katia, mainly for visualization purposes, I highly recommend Datasmith Importer to do so. There are other workarounds for this, like the object can be opened with 3ds Max or other similar software, afterwards converted, but it's better like, like this and also it's faster and Datasmith plugin is also free. Okay, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.